black humor, as it were. No, just unbu simple journalism. <laughs> Remember I mentioned Clister's taking a bath, right? Yes. Oh, Martin is now the over high overseer. Let us all praise yeah. their choice. The dance of investiture will take yeah. place. Yep. I know it. Look, I was inventing a new kind of rock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. Yeah, that's the ticket. The truth is, yeah. there is no snowflake rock. I was just, you know, looking. There was a rock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I love this I line coming here. You're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. <laughs> <laughs> I know for both of those reasons. <laughs> I know that you can, man of honor, and could kill me at any time. Now, there's actually you can get a sort of special, non-standard game over here. The young lady and I don't suppose we'll be doing that. Oh yeah! Oh, of course we will. Ah, uh, yes. And I mentioned there's one earlier at the beginning of the game, you could just attack someone for no reason and you get arrested. You went crazy. More dishes and laundry for me. At least make me feel safer. At one time, Non-standard game overs are my favorite. Color for bedding. Someone bleached it all trying to kill plague germs. It's always, yeah, it's always sort of interesting to see when they include stuff like that. It's gotten so bad that I can barely walk anywhere, even during the day. Those dogs from the city watch are terrible. Just me. Play your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. Yeah, that's gonna happen. As I grab a coin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't loot or steal. Come on now, guys. All right. Should we just rudely barge into Callista's room? Of course. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? About to? You're in the middle of it. I understand. It was an accident. I don't know what happens if you, you say maybe you'd like company. Privacy <laughs> a crowded house. Don't you? I'm pretty sure she just remarks. Ellie Oop! The Loyalist Conspiracy is, of, is dissolved due to irreconcilable hostilities. Did she stand up? Yes, she did. Interesting. I do know that uh, somebody did, went and did fishing and there's no actual nude model. <laughs> Unlike, say, Beyond Two Souls. <laughs> I, was just, I, was, I, was, I was just racking my brain trying to think of working some sort of Ellen Page joke here. But you... <laughs> You spared me the trouble. Have you seen the uh, advertisements for the um, MTV Movie Awards? I have not. She's very tongue-in-cheek about her uh, sexuality now. She um, just came out recently, right? Yeah. Conan is is hosting, and he's like Conan running around in one of those. Yeah. Not Conan of Samaria. Okay. Continue. No, no. He's running around in one of those uh, giant inflatable like hamster balls, but for people. Okay. And he's like, uh, you know, he's like, it's so hard to record in here. And Ellen's like, no, it's not. And she goes in there, and she's got, like, a cup of something. And she's like, see how easy it is? And they start moving around, and then they eventually both fall on each other. And she's like, ugh, this is why I normally avoid balls. <laughs> I, thought you gonna, I thought you were going to say that, like, the MTV Movie Awards had, was gonna have, had some sort of David Cage reference. No. <laughs> And, but she she spills coffee on the both of them, and Conan's just like, "Why did you bring hot coffee in here?" Uh. Okay, now we're gonna speak have have words with the, the good Doctor Sokolov. Oh, apparently, this is Latin Kings territory. We better not piss them off. Not uh, the uh, oh, God damn it! Vi not the Vice Kings. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me. 
Oh, glad, oh, glad to know you're bouncing back from the whole fratricide thing. I believe you and Corvo knew each other at one point. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah. I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of Richard. And the former spy master, or Lord Regent, as we call him. He's a ruthless tyrant. Bent on destroying this city, the heart of the empire. Now there's a there's a non-nasty way to resolve this, which is that you can bribe Sokolov with a bottle of like brand his favorite brandy, which you can purchase from Piero. Okay, uh, we're not going that route. No. We're doing the whole Room 101 thing. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? That's the company you keep now, Admiral. It's the company you keep that interests us, Sokolov. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Name that ass. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot <laughs> help you. You can hear that squealy sound. Yes. They're, hu they're hungry. It's time to put him to the question. Whenever you're ready. Alright. Like I said, you can talk to him about, you know, something that might induce him. I'm not sure what that is up there. Is there <laughs> Just the office football pool, I guess. It's the brackets. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's simple. I elect not to tell you that. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower has quadrupled the fever. Let's see. Let's see if the rats are hungry. Sorry. Do it to Julia! To Julia! tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I am not sure. I still need to strike some forces, but I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at the masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that part of the scene. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Sokol. But the Boyles are wealthy ruthless, so the security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close to her. Corvo, if you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I'm just supremely confident that despite the fact that your mask is infamous, you can just totally walk in. Well, they probably figure no one no one would ever expect Corvo to actually just walk in wearing his, his infamous mask, so they figure you must be just some other guy, you know, in very poor taste. That seems like the worst leap in logic ever. I mean, that'd, that'd be like if Osama bin Laden was like, no one will suspect it's me. I just walk in here. Well, but it's like if Osama bin Laden was only known for, as a guy like wearing a Doctor Doom mask, then you wouldn't. And then some guy like showed up at a costume party wearing a Doctor Doom mask, you wouldn't assume it was the actual bin Laden. No, but if it was the president's ball, you know. I'd give it a, a, a look. Well, we won't be staying too long, as you'll see. Now, this can be... I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just the time to spare just now. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for 
Alright, side quest. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink them? Of course, dozens. Oh, yeah. But that's not for young girls to hear. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Mostly, yes. Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. Tia Dalma. Not great with kids, the Admiral. No. It seems so fancy at the Golden Cap, but in a different way than the palace is fancy. Yes, I'd imagine so. Free that all the ladies are princesses and the men come to admire them. My doll must have told so much they had to go to my mother's house. The palace. They both saw. The palace probably has less Piero Piero sex technology for one thing. Like it there. I hope she's safe. Less uh, whale oil civians, as you say. Yes. Please, Nick, not in front of the child. <laughs> For who? Her mom? No, her doll. Oh. Keep in mind, she's like eight. Yeah. Alright, Piero. Well, hey, oh. I'm like mid 20s, and uh, I would totally throw a uh, holiday for my hamster. Yeah, I mean, if I could get away with that. Now, Piero, I hope you've learned a valuable lesson from our little encounter earlier. Ooh, what what will I say when Sokolov has passed his precious baton? Oh, oh God. <laughs> Sokolov is dead. Gone forever. We were rivals at the Academy, yes. He was jealous of my agile brain and eager passions. But he's dead now. What can I say about him? Sokolov did improve on some inventions. He did well for himself and his family. He had many admirers among the aristocracy, especially those who lack a solid background in matters of natural theory. He was a painter of portraits. <laughs> they say his work was genius. That remains to be seen. Oh God! <laughs> this is why you usually pick pick someone less bitter to deliver eul eulogies. I would never be able to oh, to deliver a eulogy. You can quickly return to my shop. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, boot stealth. Got two hundred and eighty-eight, two thousand eight hundred and eighty-three coins to spend. Just from it, oh, now we can things. check it out. Now we can upgrade it again. Oh. Yeah, so we're very quiet now. I'm pr I said I'm pretty sure we can actually sprint silently now. Nice. Bone charm capacity. Yeah, swords swords locking is sometimes if you and an enemy attack and like you basically like if you both attack at the same moment then when your swords clash they'll like lock together and you'll try to like push each other. Yeah. Uh, just like never happened in real life. I I don't know enough about early modern era swordsmanship to comment. Well, if, if I mean if real blades locked like that when they struck simultaneously then they'd both have to be of pretty poor quality. Because the steel would have to like interlock. Well, I don't think it's—I don't steel. think it's like literally that they're like locked, like embedded in each other. It's just like that they hit each other, and you're—you're you're trying to push through him, through yeah. his grip, and he's trying to push through yours. It's not like I they're mean, actually stuck. Yeah, but both of those things would be really bad for the sword. I don't imagine that it happened all that often, if it happened at all. Yeah, let's see. All right. Set, set, yeah, it's have one. Damned fish. I don't recall what I was trying to accomplish there. <laughs> like, when when you film a gameplay video and then you actually like do the comment, do post commentary on it months later, it's sometimes you're not always you don't always remember what was going through your head. <laughs> 